I think it's a nice walleye, actually. Oh, yeah. Nice walleye. Really? Yeah, I think it's white, too. Welcome back to Hoyam Outdoors. The video you're about to watch was filmed about a week and a half ago, but the first video, or the first clip of the video, the intro was uh, corrupted when I was trying to edit it last night, so this is the intro. We were hammering the walleyes that night. Um, I'm stuck in Minnesota now while the fish are biting out in South Dakota, so it kind of sucks, but you guys are going to want to watch this video all the way through and uh, make sure you like it. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. We just hit a thousand subscribers. I want to thank you guys for that. Huge milestone of ours. So stay tuned. It's going to be a hell of a video. You got it. Huh? You got it. <coughs> Flip the bail and reel. I bought a 15 incher on back. Go. Yep. Strikes again. Finally got him. We have 15 incher. He's going home. I think it's a nice walleye actually. Oh yeah, nice walleye. Really? Yeah, I've seen his white tail. You see him? You sure? It's a walleye. I'm pretty, I've seen the white on his tail. Do straight bass have white tails? Yeah. I think it's a nice walleye. I didn't get a good hook set on it, so. Yeah, it's a walleye. Mm -hmm. I love this rod. <laughs> it's awesome, dude. This rod's just so nice. That's a nice eater. 17, 18. Let's go. So they made four chips around each rod. One time I didn't get the GoPro on. Look at that one, boys. Get your measurement on here. Oh, you 
and 17 and a half. 19. 19? 19 incher. She's gonna hit the grease, I think. Prime time's here, 445. Good one? Yeah. Transducer? Uh, actually, actually, I don't think so. Yeah, it is a good one. Kind of. It's not huge, but... <laughs> 15 incher. Mm -hmm. Legs up, Boston. Come out here. Nothing on this one. Bite again. Once she stung him. Good one. Yeah. Feels a little better than the last ones. Oh yeah. Is it? It's an eater. Maybe not. You want to? Look at 15, 15 and a half. <laughs> Another one for the grease pan. Beautiful South Dakota walleye. Good one. Another eater. I got one over here too. Double up. Of course. Wanna come top side like your buddy? <laughs> Feeder number seven right here, we only need one more. Good one. Oh. oh yeah, good one. A Seventeen. We're limited out. When's the last time you limited out on walleye side fishing? Summer at Thompson. Fucking are fat. There we go. There's our eighth fish of the night. Limited out. Start packing up here in a minute and have a little fish fry. 
It's about six o'clock. We just got our last eater of the night. Limited out. Caught most of them jigging. I was using a clam time bomb. Austin was using a pink buckshot, I believe, eighth ounce or something. And we got a couple flags. We just got random. A couple of them have bear hooks. A couple of them have little jigs, but no preference out here. They'll eat anything. So we head back to the apartment and fry up some fish for you guys. I'm going to show you a new recipe that I like. So stay tuned. I'll see you at the apartment. Well, I have made it back to my apartment. It took me probably over an hour to clean me and Austin's eight walleyes. I recommend to not use a paring knife. I don't know where my uh, fillet knife ended up, but not one store in this town has fillet knives, so I had to use a paring knife. So I'm going to show you guys a little recipe here. My dad showed me when I was younger. Really love it. It's really easy. You just take your walleye fillets here. I got three of them. That's enough for me. I usually cut them in half because I make them in a little bowl like this. For smaller walleyes like they were tonight, you can just use, you can just put three little half chunkers in there, so a fillet and a half at a time. Just lay them in the bottom of the bowl. Take your favorite seasoning salt, I like Larry's on mine. Put a good amount on there. Take some butter. It's not the healthiest way to eat fish, but it sure tastes good. Put a couple of chunks of butter on top of them. Just like that. And then you throw it in the microwave. So these were. 15 to 17 inches so they're not massively thick so I'm going to microwave them for two minutes. Look at that. bowl is definitely not cold. White flaky walleye fillets right there. Almost has the texture of lobster. It's pretty good. So I'm going to eat that and I'm going to throw the other half in the microwave and get started on this video. A little update. Lucas has been fishing back home in Minnesota a little bit. Hasn't had hardly any luck so I don't know if the deal is there. But I'll be out in South Dakota for a few more days, finishing up some finals, and then I'll be back in Minnesota to hit the ice. Sounds like a, they got some pretty good ice back home. They already got wheelers out, so stay tuned for that. We're going to be doing a bunch of overnights as soon as they get back. So appreciate you guys watching this video. Make sure you're subscribed, like the video, and yeah, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.